Hello and welcome to this video regarding license dongles. In this video we'll give an overview of Intella licensing. We will also cover how to check which licenses you have on your dongle, how to update your dongle and some troubleshooting tips. This video is split into several sections. We have provided approximate times for when these sections appear in the video. This is so you can skip to the sections which are relevant to you. Note that this tutorial relates to physical license dongles and it does not cover the licensing of IntelliPI. There are three types of HASP dongles that Valn supplies for licensing the Intella and Intella Connect products. The purple dongle is a Haas Pro standalone dongle. This is an older type of dongle which we no longer provide, however, if you have one of these dongles, the dongle still works fine with Intella and can be updated to work with our latest versions of our software. The green dongle is a Haas Max standalone dongle, which is similar to the purple dongle and is the dongle that we currently provide to our customers. These two types of dongles are standalone and therefore they must be plugged into the system which you have until they're installed on. The red dongle is a Haas network dongle. The difference for this dongle is that it can be plugged into any system on your network and any other computer running in Teller can obtain a license from this dongle. The processes in this video for checking and updating your dongle relate to all of these types of dongles. Two files are used to manually update your dongles. One file is created when extracting data from the dongle. The other file is provided by our support team to manually apply licenses to the dongle. These files are called customer to vendor files or C2V files and vendor to customer files or V2C files respectively. The license information for your product and version is stored on your dongle. This information can be extracted from the dongle and placed into a C2V file. Our support team may ask you to provide a C2V file so that they can create a new license for your dongle. Once the license has been created, the support team will provide you with a V2C file. The V2C file is used to apply the license to the dongle manually. Extracting a C2V file and applying licenses to your dongle with a V2C file are covered in the manually updating your dongle section later in this video. This section covers the version numbering for our products and checking the licenses on your dongle using two different methods. Found uses a three number licensing system for its products. For example, in the release 1.9.0, the 1 refers to the major release, the 9 refers to the feature release, and the 0 refers to the minor update release. Dongle licensing is applied to the major release and the feature release levels, which means that you don't have to update your dongle for minor releases. For example, if my dongle is licensed for version 1.9, I'll be able to run all versions that start with 1.9 such as versions 1.9.1. .1. Before you try to update your dongle, you need to make sure that the dongle is not already up to date. There are two ways to check which licenses and versions are on your dongle. One is using the Intella Dongle Manager. Two is by using a web browser and accessing the dongle via a web page. To use Dongle Manager to check which version your dongle is licensed for, make sure that the dongle is plugged into the computer system, then open Dongle Manager from the folder where Intella is installed. Dongle Manager can also be opened from the link in the Intella Case Manager. Once open, click on the Show Products button to read the dongle and to show which products and versions have been loaded on the dongle. The dongle manager will also show you when your maintenance agreement expires and how many days of the maintenance agreement are left. Note that once your maintenance agreement has expired, you will no longer have access to technical support until it has been brought back up to date. 
To use a web browser to check which version your dongle is licensed for, make sure the dongle is plugged into the computer system that has Intella installed, then open a web browser. Type the following URL in the address bar and then press enter. Click on the products option. Here you can see which products and versions are installed on your dongle. If you discover that you don't have the current major and feature release on your dongle, then your dongle will need to be updated. Note that many of our brand new dongles are shipped with no licenses installed on them for security purposes. If you have received a brand new dongle and you can see that there are no products installed on it, you will need to submit a support ticket to have the licenses created. You can contact support and submit a support ticket by using our support portal. Once the license has been created, support will provide instructions on how to update the dongle. Please note that not all dongles can be updated automatically using Dongle Manager. In these cases, you will need to submit a support ticket so that we can manually create a license. Once created, you will need to apply the license manually to the dongle. This is shown in the Updating Your Dongle Manually section of this video. If your dongle is not up to date, you can update it automatically by clicking on the Check for Updates button in Dongle Manager. If your computer has an internet connection and your maintenance agreement is up to date, your dongle should be updated to the latest version. It is possible that your dongle may not update using this automatic process. The automatic process is dependent on the type of products that you have on your dongle and other factors. We have developed a manual method which you can use to update your dongle if this is the case and your dongle will not update automatically with Dongle Manager. The manual update method is also used by customers who have security constraints on their network or their dongles are plugged into servers which do not have internet connectivity. For these customers, Dongle Manager won't work because of the restrictions. The manual update process involves manually extracting information contained on your dongle into a CSV file and submitting the information to us via our dongle update website. Once received, we will add the licenses and provide you with V2C update files you can then apply to the dongle manually to update it. First, you need to extract the information from the dongle. You can do this by using the HASP Update EXE program located in the bin folder of the installation folder for Intella. The information is extracted from the dongle and placed into a C2V file. Note the default installation directory for the HASP Update file is C program files found Intella. However, your folder structure may be different depending on how Intella was installed. Once you have the Haas Update program open, click the Collect Key Status Information tab, then the Collect Information button. In the dialog, you will be asked to save the key status. Save the file to your computer using your company name. A window will appear asking you to select the Haas key located on your system. It is important that you select the hardware license. This is the one starting with HASP HL. After you have clicked save, you will see that the key status was retrieved successfully. Once the C2V file has been created, take this file to a computer which has internet access and submit the C2V file to us at the following website. When the C2V file has been processed by the licensing server, you will be redirected to the results page. If your dongle was already up to date, you'll receive a message confirming that the dongle is up to date and no further action is required. If your dongle was not up to date, you will be shown a list of one or more V2C update files that you need to download and apply to the dongle. It is important that the V2C files are applied to the dongle in the correct sequence. This will avoid any conflicts with expired or obsolete V2C updates that have not been applied to the dongle. You can apply the V2C files by using the same Haas update 
utility program we used earlier. Once you have the Hafs update program open, click on the Apply License Update tab, navigate to the folder of the VTC file that you just downloaded and select the VTC file for the dongle. Once done, click on the Apply Update button. As mentioned, there may be more than one VTC update file for a specific dongle. Make sure that you apply these VTC files in the correct sequence. Once all of the VTC files have been applied, you can view the licenses which are attached to your dongle by opening Dongle Manager and clicking on the Show Products button. You can also use the local host web page to troubleshoot a missing or undetected dongle. Once you have typed the link into the address bar, click on the Sentinel Keys option. You should see a picture of your dongle as one of the entries in the list. If you do not see a picture of your dongle, firstly make sure that your dongle is plugged into the computer system properly. Once done, open Windows Device Manager and make sure that you have the following entries under USB controllers. If you do not have any SafeNet entries in the USB section of Device Manager, you may need to reinstall the HALFS drivers. This can be done by running the HALFS driver installer utility, which is located in the same bin folder where you located the HALFS update file. Make sure that you exit Inteller if it is open before reloading the drivers. The driver installer needs to be run in a command prompt. Also, the command window needs to be launched using the administrator account. You can do this by right-clicking on the command prompt icon and selecting Run as Administrator. Once the command window is open, navigate to the bin folder in the installation directory. Type the following line in the command window and press enter. The drivers may take a few minutes to be installed. Once complete, remove your dongle and plug it in again. Windows should now find the dongle and add it to the USB section of Device Manager. You should also be able to see it under Sentinel Keys in the localhost web browser. If you have any issues updating your dongle, log a support ticket via our support portal. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This video along with other training videos can be viewed at the link shown below.